tutorial on my channel in which I will be showing you how to make this little strawberry book sleeve and I really like it a lot, it looks super cute. This is like a second part to my previous video on my YouTube channel in which I am showing you how to make this basic book sleeve without the strawberry patch attached to it. So I'm also not going to explain how to make this book sleeve in this video, but I will link it down below in the description so you can watch it there. And once you get your basic book sleeve, you can make the strawberry patch onto it. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. I hope you will like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This would help me a lot. And let's get started. For the strawberries, you're going to need red and green yarn. I am using a combination of 60% cotton with 40% acrylic. You'll need a crochet hook, I'm using a 4mm hook, scissors and a darning needle. Alright, so once you got your book sleeve, we're going to make the strawberry patch, for example, this one right here. And we're going to make this separately. So we're going to crochet this from the bottom all the way going up. And we're going to make it just as long so that it covers book sleeve like this and afterwards we're going to sew it on to the book sleeve so first let me show you how to make this strawberry patch all right so for making the strawberry patch we are first going to make a chain and the chain should be a little bit smaller than the width of your book sleeve also it should be a multiplication of four and you should do that because otherwise it's going to be difficult for making the strawberries so you can do for example 16, 20, 24, something like that. I'm gonna try 20 first now. And also one more thing, I like to make this yarn end very long because I'm gonna use this one for sewing it onto the book sleeve. You don't have to do this, you can also do this later. But I like to do that now. So just make sure there's quite a lot of length to it. Something like this, doesn't need to be precise, but preferably a bit too long than a bit too short. Okay, now make a slip knot. And we're first going to make a chain. I'm going to try 20. Also, don't make these chains too tight. You can make them very loosely. Otherwise, your work's going to curl inward a bit and you don't want that. All right, so I've now done a chain of 20. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks perfectly fine. So now I'm finished with making the chain. And I'm gonna move on to the first round. So for the first round, we're just going to make the base a little bit um, more secure. So for that, we're going to skip the first chain and into the second chain, we're gonna do just a single crochet. Like that. And we're gonna do that all the way across. So just do single crochets only, one in each. And I will see you at the end of the first round. All right, so once you're done with the first round, we can flip our work. We don't have to do a chain one. Some people do that, but I prefer not to do that. So I'm just going to flip my work. And now for the second round, we are going to do one single crochet in the first three stitches from our hook. And we're going to do five double crochet in the same stitch after that. And that's going to be our little strawberry right here. And we're going to repeat that pattern for the rest of the round. So let's do this together. Do one single crochet in the first. Do one in the second. Do one in the third. And do five double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go into the stitch. Pull through, now you got three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. That's the first one. We're going to make a total of five. That's five right there. Now we're going to repeat it. So we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three, like that. We're going to do five double crochet into the next stitch. Okay. 
Okay, do one to the next three stitches. Do five into the next one, five double crochet, I mean. Okay, now we're going to do the three single crochet again. Okay, going to do our last five double crocheting one. And we're going to do our last three single crochet. So I will be having a total of four strawberries in the second round. All right, so now this round is finished and we're gonna have to switch to light green now. And I always like to just cut off the yarn, leave some into it like this and then we can start freshly freshly with uh, green okay so we just finished off with red and now we're going to grab our green yarn for the third round we're going to make a slip knot make sure that this end is quite long because we're going to have to hide it with our darning needle like that and we're going to look for the last stitch that we did so right here we're going to do a single crochet with the green yarn like that do a single crochet in the next two stitches as well and now for the next five stitches that we see this is where we are going to make our strawberry we're going to do five decrease together so that basically means that we're going to go into the next space pull up a loop keep it on your hook and we're gonna do that all the way across. Three, four, and five, till we get a total of six loops on our crochet hook. Now yarn over and pull through all of the six loops on your hook, chain one, and do a slip stitch in the last space where we went in, just to complete the strawberry like that. So that's our first little strawberry. Now to continue, we're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches. And we're going to make our next strawberry by doing a five decrease together. So pull up a loop for the next five stitches. Once you get a total of six loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through and chain one and do a slip stitch in the last space like that we're going to continue doing this so one single crochet in the next three stitches and do a five decrease together do a slip stitch Right again, do three single crochet, do a five decrease together, like that. Chain one and do a slip stitch. Now we're going to finish this round by doing three single crochet. Like that and now the third round is finished as well and our first strawberries are complete all right so as you can see i've cut off the green yarn ends so now we are ready for the fourth round so flip your work grab your red yarn again and we're once again going to start off by making a slip knot like this attach that to your crochet hook and into the first space, we're going to do a single crochet again. Like that. Now to make sure that 
these new strawberries are going to be in between the previous strawberries, we're already going to do five double crochet into this stitch, next stitch right here. So that's one. Four and five, like that. Now we're going to do a single crochet into the next space. Now we're going to skip this one right here and do one more single crochet on top of the strawberry. Now we're going to skip this one as well and do our last single crochet right into this one right there. Okay, so we did the same pattern. We did five double crochet, three single crochet, and right now we're once again going to do the five double crochet. And five, like that. Now do a single crochet in the next space, do the next single crochet on top of the strawberry, like that. Do one more single crochet on the side of the strawberry, so skip this one, go into this one, do single crochet, and do five double crochet into the next one. five like that. Now do a single crochet into the next one, skip one, do a single crochet on top of the strawberry, skip one, do a single crochet right there, and do five double crochet into the next space again. Five like that. Now do a single crochet into the next one. Skip this one, do a single crochet right here. Skip this one and do a single crochet right there. Now for one last time we're gonna do five double crochet and we're gonna close with one single crochet. So first do five double crochet. and do a single crochet into the last space that we did. Like that. Now you can cut off the yarn again. And that was round four. Now for round five, we're gonna start on this side of our work again and grab your green yarn. Make another slip knot. Gonna start off by doing a single crochet in the last in the first space that you see, so that's right here. So do a single crochet like this. Now we have already arrived at the strawberry part, so we're gonna do the five decrease together. So pull up a loop for the next five stitches. So you get a total of six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, chain one, and do a slip stitch in the last space. Like that. Now do three single crochet. And do the strawberry part again. So pull up a loop for the five next stitches. Yarn over. Like that, do three single crochet, pull up a loop for the five next stitches, so you get a total of six, yarn over, chain one, do a slip stitch. Okay. Okay, 
do a single crochet. You're just going to repeat this pattern all the time. Slip stitch. And now into the first space, we should be putting in one last single crochet. So that was it for round five. We can cut off the yarn once again. All right, so we have now completed round one to round five. And for the remaining of this pattern, we're actually just going to repeat round two to round five till you get your desired length. So for example, when I lay my pack right here, this is where I want it to begin. I want it to end up all the way over here. So it's gonna take me quite some time. So we're just going to repeat round two to round five. And if you don't remember, which I totally understand, you can go back into the video and see what exactly those rounds were. For round six, so the next round, please keep in mind that this will be a repetition of round two. However, we're now going to crochet it onto the green part instead of the red part. So keep in mind that when you're doing the three single crochet, you're going to do the first one in here, skip this one, do the second one on top of the strawberry, skip this one and do your third single crochet in here. Then you can do your five double crochet and repeat that all the way across. So that's just something for you to keep in mind. Also, as you might notice, you will end up with many loose ends. So something I like to do is to hide these yarn ends along the way when you're crocheting, because otherwise you're going to end up with many loose ends um, once your work is done. And then I find that quite discouraging to have to hide that many yarn ends still. So I like to do it in between when I've crocheted a long time. I'm gonna, just going to do some yarn end hiding, basically. Okay, so how I do that is I grab two strings on one side and I make a double knot into those strings just to make to secure them because otherwise they are not secured so just make a double knot into them all right then I'm gonna grab my darning needle and let's see I'm gonna grab one of those yarn ends that I've tied together Attach that to your darning needle and just go into your work somewhere randomly. So, for example, right here. That's a little difficult to get in there. And I like to just move to the first uh, strawberry. So that's the one right here. I'm just gonna go in all of these stitches like that. And I'm gonna move back, so move a little bit up or down or to the side so that you don't go back in the exact same space. Just go back once and that's it. Then you can cut it off. And now that yarn end is hidden. For the green yarn end, which we also tie together with that red yarn end, I like to hide that in the green part instead of the red part because um, it's the same color. So just gonna look for the green part right here and I'm just gonna move randomly through the stitches. Let's first move over here. Let's also move to a strawberry because it's just easier to hide it there. So here is the first strawberry right here. And this right here belongs to a strawberry. So we can just go through all of these stitches at once. And I find it easier to hide it in the strawberries because these are quite loose stitches. And these single crochets um, just in between are a bit tighter. So that's why. Now move a bit to the side and go back in there. Okay, now pull it 
and cut off the yarn end. And this is just something you can do along the way to make your life easier when your patch is finished. And as I said, this will take you quite some time. So I will see you again once your patch is finished and then I will sh show you how to sew it onto the book sleeve. All right, so once these strawberries are finished, we can sew it onto the book sleeve. So for doing that, grab the long yarn end, which we made in the beginning. Grab your darning needle, like that, and just make sure that the patch is laying so that you like how it's positioned. And then we can go, I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because otherwise you're not gonna be able to see it, so. All right, that's better. So now we have quite a long yarn end here and we're gonna use that for sewing it onto the book sleeve. So now it's attached to our patch and we're gonna see which little string on the book sleeve is lining up with where we want it to be positioned. So I think this string, for example, right here is close to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna pull it through there. Like that. Now I'm gonna look for the next little string on the book sleeve, which is close to the next space on my patch. So for example, this little string right here. And now I'm gonna look for the space close to it on my crochet patch. I think that's the one right there. And while you're sewing the strawberry patch onto the book sleeve, make sure that you check once in a while whether it's still posi positioned the way you want it, because it can move a little bit. Okay, now go into the next space on the strawberry patch. Like that. And look for the next space on the book sleeve. Okay, we're just basically gonna do this all the way around. Just um, while you're doing this, make sure that the patch is not moving too much. And that, yeah, that's basically the most important thing, I think. So just do this all the way around and I will meet you once it's like finished. There's one little thing I forgot to tell you, but at the top of our patch where we only have the green part, I'm just going to go into the backs of the um, stitches. So for example, this V right here, I'm going to go in there, but I'm not going to go into the entire V. I'm just going to go into this first loop close to the book sleeve so that it's a little more seamless so that you don't see that much red basically so that's how i do it at the top part but um otherwise it's just the same as the other sides all right so i'm going to be doing the last one right here like that and now all of the sides are sewn onto the book sleeve one thing i like to do is to make a little knot so i'm gonna grab a random red loop on the book sleeve here and I'm gonna create a loop and through the loop I'm gonna go back in with my needle and by that we're creating a little knot right here so that it is secure. Now to hide your yarn end I like to just go underneath the patch like in between the patch and the book sleeve so just pull up the patch a little bit just go underneath there and come out somewhere further away like that. All right, then you can cut off the yarn. And now the book sleeve is finished. Okay, so you can see the book sleeve a little bit better now, but it's finished and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I hope you like your result as well. 
If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This would help me a lot. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I will see you in another video. So thank you for watching and see you.